Hi friends, in the wake of what's happening in the world right now, I know there must be so many questions that's going on in our mind, so many doubts, fears, anxiety, apprehensions about what's really happening, what's going on right now. I know as in the world we have not experienced something of this magnitude. There have been calamities earlier, there have been pestilences, but nothing to this magnitude has ever happened to the point that we are in lockdown. Most of the places in the world is in lockdown right now. What is really happening? You know, we can control to a certain extent, but we are not completely in control of what's happening. So the question is, how do we respond to what's happening right now? In order to explain that, let me just bring the example of one family from the Bible who went through something much bigger than what we are going through. Uh, I would like to speak from the family life of Noah and his family. Noah and his family were in a lockdown. We know that uh, they went through a bigger calamity of the flood uh, coming over that place. They've never experienced anything like that before and we have not seen anything like that after that. But something of this magnitude happened that it wiped out the whole earth. And this family was going through that phase. And we know how God selected Noah and his family and he put them in the ark and he kept them safe in that place. And they were in quarantine actually. If you see, they were not just for 40 days and 40 nights in quarantine. They were almost there for a year. They had to go through this completely for a year. At least now when we are going through this, we have our phones, uh, we have other facilities that we can have access to, but they had no access to anything. They were in the mid of water and they could not go out, they could not see anywhere. Uh, this was the time that they were in. This was the kind of situation that they were in. But how did they go through this as a family? So if you also notice that here there was a family that the Lord selected. And now we are also in a period of quarantine where we also in the ark. Our families, our homes are our ark. And God has kept us in our home and ark to protect us, to keep us safe, just the way he did it with Noah. And we are safe in the ark. This is not the time to venture out. Noah didn't venture out. If he had tried to do it, he would have been washed out. But at the same, even for us at this time, if we try to venture out, it's not good for us. It's good for us to remain in the ark. That is the most safe place for us. And as a family, this is a beautiful time that we can come together as a family. Um, you know, I'm sure all of you are doing that already. You're coming together as a family, watching together, playing together, working together, and even praying together. And I would like to encourage you from the life of Noah. If you see the life of Noah, when he was going through something like this, he trusted God completely. He didn't give up on his faith. For the first time, they're going through this, but he didn't wonder why, what. They just trusted God in the situation. I would like to encourage that we would trust God in and through all that we are going through. And if you see, God took complete care of Noah and his family. He was completely safe and completely protected in the ark. In the same way, if we are in the Lord, God is protecting us. God is keeping us safe. Let's have the assurance and faith that God is protecting us. God is keeping us safe even through what we are going through. The Bible also says that Noah was a righteous man. A righteous man like Noah led his family. I'm sure when he was in the ark, he led his family in prayer, in fellowship with the Lord. That's what they would have been doing in the ark. And in the same way, we also see in 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 5, Noah warned of God's righteous judgment that was coming on this earth. And even now, pestilences, calamities are like warnings from the Lord. What we are going through is a warning from the Lord. And at this time, what are we doing in response to what's happening? Are we prepared for it? What can we do? It's wonderful that we as family can enjoy our time together. But much more than that, this is a wonderful time for us to seek the face of the Lord as a family. The Bible says, If you, my, my people who are called by my name, will humble yourself and call, I will hear from heaven and heal the land. And what best way to do? We cannot join as a church now, right now. We cannot join as colleges but right now we as a family can do this that we can come together as families and call on the name of the Lord Joshua, Joshua said as for me and my household we will serve the Lord let this be a time when you and your family make a commitment to pray commitment to seek his face commitment the Bible
Bible also says, when two or three of you gather together in my name, I will hear from heaven and God will be there and hear us when we cry out to him. Let's pray as families that this calamity will pass, this calamity will be taken away, that our land will be healed, our world will be healed at this time. Let's pray, let's bow our heads at this time and pray that God will come through and heal our land. Amen. Father God, we want to come into your presence at this time, Jesus, oh Father, Father, seeking your face, oh Father. Nothing is Jesus. impossible by you. You almighty God, you are able to do great and mighty things, oh Father. Lord, even in the wake of what's happening in the world, oh Father, the fear of Corona, oh Father, we just want to commit this completely into your hands, oh Father. Lord, at this time, let's take this opportunity to come together as families to seek your face, oh Father. Lord, I pray that we'll pray with all our heart, oh Father, even as we come together and seek your face, oh Father, together. Let this calamity be taken away, oh Father. Let there be healing in the land, oh Father. Father, we know that you are in control. 